Welcome everybody here to today's broadcast. We're at the Horde Athletic Complex, about a half a mile west of the Andrew College campus here in Cuthbert, Georgia. Mark Brown here, Tanner Hamby here, Lisa Richards here, Maddie Thompson here. And we'll have some more coming in as we go. I don't know if they're going to start with the national anthem or or they're going to do the announcement of the players first, but. Uh, Highlands is all set up like yeah, look, gonna, I don't think Highlands knows what's going on. <laughs> I don't think they do either. But anyway, we'll get through with the starting we'll go through with the starting lineups here and Alright. So they are gonna run through the lineups real quick quick. Uh, t uh Highlands is gonna lead off with Kemp at second. Batting second and playing first will be is that hair? Horn. Horn. Batting third and playing right, Hearn. Batting fourth and playing left, pick a Piatra. Batting fifth and doing the catch and oar. Batting uh, sixth and playing third, Mac Fee. Batting seventh and doing the DH and is Allen. Batting eighth or uh, yeah, batting eighth and playing shortstop would be Foster and batting ninth would be Pizza. Playing center and on the mound is Norton. I can't read your writing very good. Well. <laughs> I know you can't. <laughs> See, what happens is before the game, me and Mark Brown will talk to some of the parents that are down here, and then we'll get sidetracked, and then if somebody doesn't write it down, we'll be scrambling to write down the lineups on our paper while they're announcing the lineups. So I'll go ahead and write it, but Mark Brown can't read my handwriting. Very true, Mr. Hamby, and uh, ours gets PHs, and anyway, we're going to do this nice and anthem. How about that? We can't mess <laughs> Let's, that up. We can't mess that up. own Maddie Thompson. That was not a recording. <laughs> no, and she she can flat out sing. Yeah, and it's been uh, nice to have her around the ball field to sing the national anthem for us because uh, sometimes they won't play it at all. Yeah, like I said, she does a fantastic job. Defensively for the Tigers, left to right, Brenton Phillips, Jordan Holt, Cody Bishop, third to first, Clint Sellers. Colin Chambers, Matt Holloway, Will Berry behind the plate, Brent Totus, and on the mound, right-hander Kobe Mullins. Talk to me, Hamby. All right, so Kobe Mullins comes in with 13 appearances on the year, seven of those starts, a 3.79 ERA, 5-3 and three record, one save on the year, 38 innings pitched, and 37 strikeouts. Again, uh, we put the uh, my email address up. You can 
shoot me an email. Let me uh, let me know you tuned in. Mark Brown at AndrewCollege.edu. Mark Brown at AndrewCollege.edu. Single nine inning game today. Uh, they play a doubleheader tomorrow out here against the same team, the Georgia Highland Chargers. We will be broadcasting the softball game. They are down to their last two home doubleheaders. Uh, tomorrow they take on Georgia Military at 1 o'clock. We'll be over there. We'll be back out here Tuesday night. Tigers will take on Gordon. And, um, and then I think the following Tuesday is... Uh, Again, stay back, and I believe that's the last home game of the year. We want to say hello to Miss Totus up in Ohio. Your husband's down here. And we told him we'd put him on the air, but he said no way. But uh, <laughs> we may drag him in here. But uh, Hammy's been hoping y'all would come down, and we've been visiting with him here for the last 20, 30 minutes. And... Uh, uh, he said he knew you'd be watching, and I'm sorry we're not doing tomorrow's game, but um, like I said, softball's had a, a run of away games here, and like I said, they have two home games left, so they'll do that this Saturday and uh, tomorrow, and then the following Saturday also. <laughs> All right, leading off for the Chargers will be the second baseman, number four, Willis Kemp. Mullins kicks and fires. First pitch is outside, and it is at 4.59. We got started about 45 seconds early today, Hamby. Tigers are up in uh, Emerson on Tuesday night, 1.97. 1 0 pitch in there for strike one. Mullins on his way to Middle Georgia State next year. Pitch for the Knights up there. Piles straight back. Kemp. That's one thing uh, Brent's dad was asking me before the game. I probably talked to him about 45 minutes just then, and uh, he was asking me how close have the baseballs gotten to the camera. <laughs> told him they've gotten close enough to scare us. Kemp caught looking. That rail of the first baseman, number 44, Bryson Horn. Horn, big old left-handed hitter here. Last ball on the outside corner, right at the knees. Strike one. Beautiful day down here, not a cloud in the sky. A little cooler than normal. The 0 1 pitch just missed outside. Wind is blowing slightly to left. The 1 1. Cutter running away from him, able to hold up. Cash must be DHing. Cash is DHing. Okay. The 2 1, and that's low. stays high. One draws a walk. That'll bring the right fielder, number two, Cameron Hearn. Got a real big crowd right now, but as the evening wears on, I'm sure it'll start to fill in when folks are getting off of work. Curveball in there for strike one. You look at out their stats. Has Hearn got many stolen bases? He doesn't look like the typical, prototypical two-hole hitter. And a 
show up on there. He's got uh, five stolen bases. Change up must have been low. Not a huge number, but uh, sure if they need him to run, they might tell him to go. And uh, Brandon Phillips is back in the lineup as well. He uh, got hit in the hand. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. So 1-1, one, one, that's up and in. He got hit in the hands about a week ago on one of he our screens. Sit and out the uh, last doubleheader we did. Cody's mom and dad just showing up. Duh. You cooking tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two one to her. Outside corner. <laughs> Mark Brown enjoyed the barbecue sandwich they brought down here for us Man, last time they cooked. Man, it was some kind of good. Said he's cooking hot dogs tomorrow. Tim Bishop, that is. Cody's dad. Two balls, two strikes, one out, one on. Out back. Eight people watching right now. Say, if you want to give us a holler, give us a shout out. Mark Brown at andrewcollege.edu. Shoot me an email. Curveball hit to the right side, and that's into right. Ahern does his job, but that curveball just shot it into right. Runners at first and second, and I'll bring up the cleanup hitter, left fielder, number 24, Nick. Pick a Petra. Coach Brock Moss, who coached here a couple of years ago, came over and specifically told me how to say it, and then I forgot it already. I think he said Pika Pietra. Pika Pietra. I think I you're think right. I think that's what he said. So we apologize profusely. <laughs> First pitch in there for strike one. Well, what, uh, what I have you to find out what his nickname is, because I guarantee you they don't call him Pika Pietra. <laughs> Probably call it pick. Out off. What uh? What you'll have to do next year is get you a little piece of paper and write down how many times I say we're sorry for how we pronounce <laughs> your if we pronounce the name wrong like and mark down jar. how many times you do it wrong. <laughs> Need a little curse jar there. Of course, we don't never know. We just do <laughs> what we what we think is right. <laughs> We do have a special shout-out I do for Brock's grandparents, if they're tuned in. He said they'd be watching. Let them get tuned, time to get tuned in. The 0-2. Off the fist, Will over. He'll go to second for one, and that'll be all they can get. Will able to venture far off the bag. 360 spin. Fire to strike to Colin. Pick and Pietro will be at first, and Horn now at third. There are two outs, and the catcher Parker Orr at the plate. Fastball outside. O'Neill, the head coach for Georgia Highlands, that is. Curveball in the dirt. Nice block there by Totus. Dash played here at Andrew College back in the early 2000s. Played ball with our athletic trainer, Philip Latimer. We played ball together. And a lot of years at CBCC was Coach Thomas, Adam Thomas, and then got the head job at uh, Highlands two years ago. 2-0 pitch, foul straight back. <laughs> Lisa, they coming for you today, honey. <laughs> Lisa's sitting right in front of us, probably two feet behind the net, and they peppering her all day here. And we're only in the top of the first. Board says 2-1. Is that what you got? I've got 2-1. Fastball stays low. Three one 
just going to stay the outside. Second walk of the inning for Mullins. Bases loaded, but there are two outs, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Skyler McPhee. Oh, it's just doing it on its own? Okay. Off the fist. All right, we're reloading. We'll see. We're back on now. What did our live broadcast say? This is we are live. Yeah, so like I said, if you're not live, we'll be back shortly. First pitch into uh, Brandon Allen, DH, in there for strike one. Like I said, it wasn't our pride, wasn't our, I don't know what the deal was. It had something to do with the internet. The old one stays high. Brent Phillips ended up drawing a walk, went to second on a balk, and then Clint grounded out. Brent had rounded out to shore, and Jordan Holt had struck out. That's how the Tigers, I'm not sure when we lost y'all, but Jordan let off the inning, but uh, he struck out. Brent grounded out to short. Phillips again drew a walk, went to second on a balk, and then Clint grounded out to second. So now we're back. Up to date, we hope. I think so. We're live here. We're yeah, streaming. We're live, definitely but live. The broadcast on our website is not coming up, which makes no sense at all. And I'm trying everything I can to get it to pull up. Refresh that. I did. Oh. 3 1 pitch. I don't think that's right. What have you got? One and one? I got three and two now. Three and two, okay. Brandon Allen leading off. Hit hard right at Colin. Down to one knee. Strong bow to Will Berry. First out. And bring up the shortstop, number one, Austin Foster. So we're live here. I'm not sure. Again, the website looks like it's still buffering. Just be patient. We'll get it. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to get it fixed, and I don't know if you can hear me or not. First but pitch to Foster. Strike I'm one. Doing everything I can think of. Yeah, like I said, we're live here on our on Boxcast. I'm not sure why it's not translating to our website. One just outside. <laughs> one one is fouled back.
pull it up on your phone. Mm -hmm. Curveball stays maybe up. If maybe it's just this page. But I'm having trouble pulling it up on my phone as well. Oh, it's up on my phone. Well, now it's buffering. I've got it pulled up on my phone. For some reason, it's not working on our website. So I think we're fine. Get and if you guys can back. us, send us an email. Yeah, please shoot us let an us email. know. Mark Brown at andrewcollege.edu. Mark Brown at andrewcollege.edu. Yeah, no. See Jen Holtz. Yeah, uh, Jen Holtz. Jordan's mom has checked in twice, says you guys are off the air. See if we're on a big high chopper. This can be tough. Sellers cuts it off. Strong throw and a fantastic play by Clint Sellers. <laughs> Covered a lot of ground there. Smothered that short hop. Fired a strike over there to Will. Let's see. Uh, That'll bring up the center fielder, number 31, Jared Pledger. Off the end of the bat, down the first base line, Will will pick it up himself and tag out Pleasure. So three up, three down inning for Mullins. And we'll go to the bottom half of the second. Now we got some sound. <laughs> I've been sitting here talking the whole time for God's sake. That ball's hammered in the center, but right at Pledger. And he'll haul it in for the second out. We didn't even have a chance. I didn't realize my sound was down. Y'all are probably like, what is going on with these people? Will Barry let off the inning with a strikeout. And Dalton just creamed one to center, but right at Pledger. That'll bring up the uh, right fielder, Cody Bishop. All right, 272 on the year, 31 hits, 5 doubles. 
a triple, two home runs, 20 RBIs, and five stolen bases. First pitch to, uh, from Morton is in there a little low. Over there somewhere. Oh, a pile, mile into the air. Shortstop Foster going out. And Morton has a three up, three down inning. Oh, he knows top of the third. Still no score here in Cuthbert. And I see we're back up to a dozen people watching, so hopefully. Give us a shout-out, Mark Brown and Andrew. Throw up the email address real quick. Uh, like I said, give us a holler. Let us know if the view is back. Um, see what it is. Uh, like I said, we, are, we had an Internet problem. We see no problems here, and I can see the game on my phone. Uh, and uh, Hammy can see the game on his phone, but we're looking at the Andrew College website on this computer, and it just keeps buffering or say it's got some sort of player error. We don't see an error here, but uh, we're not sure. So anyway, Mark Brown at andrewcollege.edu. Let us know if it's back. Top of the third. Highland's back to the top of the lineup. Willis Kemp at the plate. Kemp caught looking his first time up. Fouled off down the third base line. Sky to the right side. Cody coming in. Matt going out. Matt will haul it in just in shallow right field. The first out of the inning. Gonna bring up the first baseman, Bryson Horn. Horn walked his first time up. First pitch to Horn a little low. stays outside. Ball roped in the right. Second hit of the day for the Chargers. Bring up Cameron Hearn. Hearn singled his first time up. She's not watching it right now. Get deep to center. Jordan going back. Up against the wall in deep center. He'll haul it in for the second out of the inning. Okay, we're up. Or it was just up. 
<laughs> I'm not crazy. I just saw it. <laughs> That'll bring up the left fielder. Pick up Pietra. Curveball, I never strike one. Another one is skied in the middle of the field. This is going to be tough. Will give him chase. And he'll pull it in. Three mile high pop ups. Chargers do strand one. We go to the bottom of the third. We'll be back. Chambers will come back just outside. I do want to give a shout out. I had my mic turned down when I said this just a second ago. Thought I was sending it out. The 1 1 pitch to Chambers. Just low. Mary and Carol Duplantis. And again, Brock didn't tell me where they were at, but he said his grandparents would be watching. And I want to make sure we gave a shout out to you. Mary and Carol Duplantis. Appreciate you tuned in. Foul back to the right side. All right. So uh, just got word from Brent's dad that his wife was, or uh, Brent's mom was able to pull it up, and I'm able to pull it up now. And they are about on the same time with us. Said that it showed in the bottom of the third inning for her. Struck him out. Third strikeout for Morton, or Norton, I mean. Yeah, my phone's back up, too. Ain't that bottom Here's, of the third? Yeah, bottom of the third. And, uh, see, I just pulled it up on here, but now it says top of the first on here. I'm scared to refresh it. <laughs> Matt Holloway at the plate. Yeah, three six, or 312 on the year. 34 hits, four doubles. Warden took that one off his hand. Was able to recover, but he's shaking his hand pretty rough, hard. Knocked it down barehanded, but then uh, picked it up. Do the first, but he's in big pain right now.
umpire's going to give him a couple to throw, see how he how he does. Well, he looks like he's okay. Jordan holds at the plate. Jordan a strikeout victim his first time up. First pitch right on the outside corner. Kyle straight back. Three up, three down inning for Norton. Let's run through some uh, ads here real quick, Amby. I want to start with a Village Pizza. Village Pizza located in the Piggly Wiggly Shopping Center. Open Monday through Saturday. The menu is available on Facebook along with hours of operation. Look for a good pizza, salad, wings, or salad. Give Melissa a holler. Regions Bank and Regions Bank of Cuthbert, Full Line Banking, and the Bank of Andrew College. Watley Oil Company, three generations of Watleys in the oil business in Randolph County and Cuthbert, Georgia, and a proud sponsor of Andrew College Athletics. And Subway and Subway of Cuthbert, Georgia. Have me a pizza here just before the game today, Hamby. They do a good job down there, and again, another proud sponsor of Andrew College Athletics. <laughs> That's worrying you, ain't it? <laughs> well, I, I get, the good thing about it is that um, we know that it's up, but what's aggravating me is the fact that it's not up on this page that just happens to be on this computer. That's the only thing that's bugging me. But it's up. And I'm Everybody not sure why us. it's not, uh, you know, like you said, I'm not sure why it's doing that. You know, that technology doesn't like me. Well, like I said, it likes you on the phone. That might be a problem. If I'm going to start making highlight videos and yeah, recruiting really. videos and everything, and technology doesn't like me, <laughs> it might I not be a good thing. start talking nice to it. All right, Mullins through with his warm-ups. Catcher Parker Orr at the plate. Orr drew a walk his first time up. Skied, but way foul. A mammoth foul ball, so foul oh, pop offs today. I got the bat on that one. Where did uh, what's her name go? Who? Kaylin. That's just sitting over there. Buster. Tell her to come over here. Swung out and missed a nice curveball there from Mullins. No balls, two strikes. The 2 just outside. One ball, two strikes. Another curveball in the dirt. Nice block there by Totus. Lisa coming back for more. Going to sit here by the net. No, apparently not. <laughs> Going back to the dugout. I don't know, maybe he's going back to school for the time being. 2-2. Two, two. Driven into right center, going back. Bishop's got a beat on it. And he'll pull it in for the first out. Nice running catch out there. Right center by uh, Cody. That'll bring up 
third base and Skyler McPhee. He grounded out to short his first time up. Out off to the right side. One rifle to the right side. I'm gonna make the railroad tracks. I feel pretty confident. Hi, chopper to Colin. Gonna have to be hurry. Nice play. Good stretch there by Will also, and a nice play by Chambers. For the second out of the inning, and that'll bring up the DH, Brandon Allen. Looking down the line. That goes way foul. No balls, one strike, two outs. Allen able to hold up. One one pulled foul. <laughs> what inning does that say? It still says top of the first. I don't care. It's up. <laughs> So one, two, strike him out. Three up, three out inning for Mullins. Mullins and Norton. A good little pitching duel going here so far. Tigers will send up Totus Phil Sellers in the bottom half of the fourth. Brent Totus lead it off for the Tigers. One ball, one strike. Matthew Norton still on the mound. Yank foul. One ball, two strike. Thank you, Kalen. 
Another curveball lined into the dugout. out. Fifth strikeout for Norton. That'll bring up Brenton Phillips. Phillips walked his first time up. Hammer down the line, that's fair. Pick a Pietro over there quickly. And Phillips with a stand up double. How many doubles for, that for us as a team? I know it was an impressive number coming in. 87. 88 80 with that one. Go to, open up a new tab, type in the NJCAA. Do baseball division one. Clint Sellers at the plate. Clint grounded out to second his first time up. First hit for the Tigers. First pitch in there for strike one. Division one. Curl ball in the dirt. Nice play there by Orr. Yeah. Ball to short, they'll go to third, and they got him. So Sellers on, fielder's choice, six to uh, five, uh, six to five on the putout. Got to bring up Will Berry. Berry strikeout victim his first time up. Tigers are 38th in the nation with them, 88 doubles. 122 leads it. Ball kicks all the way to the backstop. Sellers on his way to second. How many games have they played versus us? Uh, 49. We, have, we played. have played 45. We've played four less games, and that 88 ties us now actually for 36th place. So, got a real possibility of getting to 100. The 1-0 to Will. That's a hit right at the third base. McAfee. Strong throw to Horn. Oh, Norton strands one. Tigers do pick up their first hit of the day. I mean, we go to the top of the fifth. Still no score here in Cuthbert.
Dolphins on for his fifth inning of work. First two pitches. Uh, first one in there for a strike. Second one swung on. Ooh, 0-2 pitch there just misses the outside corner for ball one. Up at the plate is the shortstop number one, Austin Foster. With a 5-3 ground out in the first at bat. 1-2 pitch on his way. Fouled off here. Totus might have a play on it. He's under it. He makes the catch right here. Nice catch back here behind the backstop for the first out of the inning. Ball pops straight back here to the backstop, and Toes was able to find it and get under it and make the play. Then I'll bring up the center fielder, number 31, Jared Pledger. First pitch in there, strike one. Pitch is on the way. This misses the outside corner. Ball one. The throw. One and one fouled off here. Back going to get to the railroad tracks. Actually broke a tree limb. <laughs> so, no trees are safe around here apparently. 1-2 count, one out here in the top of the fifth. Mullins winds and throws. Curveball in there just misses the outside corner. You can kind of see the uh, the uh, just the reaction from the catcher and the pitcher, just how close the ball was. 2-2 two -two pitch on its way, swung on in it. A little two-seam fastball runs in and hits Pledger on the elbow, and he'll get first base free. Hit by a pitch there. So now we'll flip the lineup cards over, and that will bring up number four, the second baseman, Willis Kemp. Kemp with the fly out to right field and the backwards K in his previous at-bats. Pitch is on his way. Just misses the outside corner. Mullins is flirting with that corner, and he's very close to it. Very close. Had good command of his fastball and his curveball today. 1-0 count. Pledger leading off of the first base. And the pitch is on its way. Swung on and fouled off here to the backstop. Two hits on the board for Highlands. One hit on the board for Andrew. 1-1 one, one count here in the top of the fifth. One out. Pledger on first after the hit by pitch. And the stretch and the throw. Swung on and laced into left field. That ball is going to get down. Phillips is going to bring it up. And Pledger's on his way to third. He's going to get in safely. And Kemp is going to head into second with a one-out double. Moving Pledger. Pledger goes first to third on the double. And... Kemp ends up on second. And uh, Highlands is looking to put a run on the board. Here, runners in scoring position now. As uh, Coach Cole is out, he's going to talk to Mullins a little bit, just talk about strategy, how they want to approach the next hitter. Meeting's over. We're back here. Runners on second and third for the Chargers with one out here, top of the fifth. 
They'll bring up the number 44, the first baseman, Bryce, Bryson Horn. Yeah, sorry about that. And the pitch is on its way. Curveball in there. Strike one. Curveball. As I said, Mullins had control of his curveball and fastball except for one pitch. Um, that clip just clipped the elbow of Pledger here earlier. L1 pitch on its way. In there for strike two. O2 on its way. Swung on and he just poked it out into left field. That ball is going to get down and bring pleasure across the score. Phillips uh, comes up and makes the throw to Sellers. It's a cutoff, man, and uh, stops another run from coming in. But uh, but Horn just stuck the bat out there and just poked it in the left field and dropped it in there and scores the first run for Highlands. Thank you, Hamby. I'm not even sure where we're at, but I know that uh, Highland just scored a run. <laughs> Looks like Cameron Hearn's at the plate. Hearn singled and flew out to center. Talking to Brianna. Brianna, golly, she... Bush, Brianna Bush, that's who her mm -hmm. name was. Part of the financial aid department. Yeah, she, uh, her and Brock uh, met here and got married. And ground ball to short, Tiger's going to try and turn it. Holloway... To Barry, pitcher's best friend there. 6 4 3 double play. And then we'll keep it at one. Rihanna, like I said, uh, her and Brock met down here, and she's down for the weekend. She's from this area. So it's kind of a twofer for her, able to uh, come visit her parents and family. and. Obviously, Brock's be down here playing. They'll be spending a night down here, so it'll be a uh, a reunion weekend for them. Looks like Norton back out again, and we'll be back. Dalton Cash lead it off for the Tigers. Bottom half of the fifth. Dalton flew out to center. First time up, Dash, Coach Dash O'Neill going over some changes or something. I'm not sure. I, I really. Pitcher hasn't changed, so. I don't know if there's been another change. Six for two, I think that's what he said. Six for two. Hearn is the right fielder. That's not number six, but it is not number two either in right. That's 24. That's Nick out there in right. What's his name? Pika Pietra. That's the guy that we can't say his name. I said six for two. Who's number two? Is it Cameron Hearn? Oh, rip the left. Able to haul it in. That is number six. So who is number six? Spencer Lewis. Spencer what? Lewis. And then pick a Pietra move to right? I guess so. That's number 24. Mm -hmm. Was that right? Mm -hmm. so Lewis. And for, for her, but uh, pick a Pietra goes from left to right. Cody Bishop skies one to left. Looking foul. 
and it hit the road. Wait, Foul. it did really? It hit the road. You see it bounce up? I think he hit the road. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. He hit it far enough. Cody popped it short his first time up. Curveball catches the inside corner, but I don't know about that. I know any need umpire was kind of squeezing the zone on Mullins. So. Yeah, he was a little bit. I thought he was a little tight early. The 0-2. That's in the dirt. All the way to the backstop. Or. Eight inside. I'm looking at these stats nationally on the NJCAA website, and Andrew is ninth in the nation with 116 stolen bases. Oh wow! I didn't realize we had a. I didn't think to look. I didn't think we had that many, but we do. 116 two, as a team. Two two pulled foul. And, yeah, uh, Harford, so ninth in the country. Yeah, ninth, and then Harford leads with 191. Yeah, they're 50 ahead of anybody else, so we talk about a runner, road runners, huh? 2-2 Two -two pitch. Off the fist, going to be a tough play. Foster, bare hand. Beautiful play by Foster to Horn. Pretty much the only chance he had was the bare hand, and he did. Now son up Colin. Chambers a strikeout victim his first time up. That was a very imp an impressive play there by the shortstop. Skied into shallow left. Lewis coming in. No going out is Foster. So he'll pull it in. So a three up, three down inning for Norton. Go to the top of the six. One nothing Chargers. Top half of the six, Mullins again out. Now right fielder, start of the game and left. Nick Piccapietra. Piccapietra over two, reached on a fielder's choice, popped out to the first baseman. As I say popped out, that was an inning where they had three monster shots. Monster pop ups. Squares the bunt, pulls back, takes ball one. Pietro trying to catch Quint. Oh, one foul back. Yeah, and we'll be back out here tomorrow. We're doing softball. One o'clock against GMC. Me and Hamby. 1-1 one, one stays outside. Matty does here. Matty did a great job of the National Anthem again, as usual. Two one on the inside corner. Oh, 
cut off at the plate. Take a quick look at it. <laughs> well, he initially threw a ball to Mullins, and then Mullins gave him the ball that he had, and then he threw the ball that Mullins gave him back to him, and then took the ball he threw well, at him. The ump asked him if he wanted to have it back if he could, and he said, yeah. Two to it, laced into right over Cody's head. Pick a Piatra on his way to second. And he has a leadoff double. That'll get some activity in the Tiger bullpen. Bring up the catcher, Parker Orr. Orr's walked, flew out to right. See Monk is on his horse going to the pen. Curveball in there for strike one. Like Daniel Lee down there, I see one. It's like uh, what's his name too, Brady Jones. Hill one, another curveball hit back up the middle. Chambers' only play is to first. Got to move the runner, pick up Pietro to third. Call a good out right there. Infield will probably come in. I see Matt coming in. Looks like Colin coming in too. Oh, McPhee at the plate. See a couple of ground outs are short. Curveball stays high. from Mullins. Swung on and missed. One ball, one strike, one out. Pick a, peach, pick a Pietra at third. Double to lead off the inning. Went to third on the ground out by Parker Orr. Tiger infield has had to come in. The 1-1. One, one. Another curveball bends in there for strike two. him out. Big strike out there from Mullins. Only his third, but that was a big one right there. Got to bring up the DH, Brandon Allen. Allen is grounded out and struck out. Infield able to move back. Our ball in the nerd. Nice play there by Totus. Saved a run. The one out. Her ball stays low. Brent wants to go talk to Mullins real quick. Just Daniels up now. Not going hard. Oh, 
stays high. Right in there for strike one. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Got Pietro still at third. That stays low. No harm done. Two bases open, no need to give in here. That'll bring up the shortstop, Austin Foster. Grounded out the third and popped out to the catcher. Highlands hadn't shown an aerial in inclination to run. First and third. We'll take a look. Foster squares the bunt, called strike one. Dash going through some signs. Just missed. <laughs> Another lot of long list of signs gone through. One one stays up. Two and one. Hitters hit and run count always has been. Although I don't know about the modern game, as much hit and run as there used to be when I was playing. But this was the count to do it. Stays outside. right in there for strike two. Three balls, two strikes, so Allen will be on, on the move with the pitch. Pledger on deck. Three, two, that's in the dirt. Just play there again by Brent. Back-to-back -back walks have loaded the bases. I don't know if Zach's going to head out there or not. Pledger at the plate, though. Pledger's grounded out to first and hit by a pitch. I believe he scored the only run of the game, and Zach is on his way. Talk to Colby. Daniel Lee is in full warm-up mode. Maybe Colby's last inning regardless. This is the second visit of the inning. I'm not sure if... Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the second visit. It, not this inning. Oh, it's not? I don't think so. Uh, Totus went out and talked to him, but I don't think the coach has been out there. I don't coach know if Coles he's... went out there and talked to him. Well, if there was two in the inning, he'd have to come out. I don't see any indication of that happen. Well, it, mu it must have been last inning. I know Coach Cole has been out. Yeah, yeah you're Coles. right. I think he has been, so... I think three in a game, two in an inning. Like I said, usually Blake comes with a hook. All right. Pledger, Pledger will hit with the bases loaded. And I think I said Jared, but I heard one of his teammates say Jerry. First pitch in the dirt. That is maybe <coughs> Colby's last hitter one way or the other. The one out in there for strike one. Everybody 
place is at now. Collins with his sign. The 1-1. Curveball just missed. One fouled off at the plate. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases are loaded. Two two. And that's outside. Not to run the count full, and again with the bases loaded and two outs. <coughs> Runners will be moving. Off they go, 3-2, foul, no, lifted her right side, here comes Cody. He's got coming, he's coming, and yes! Diving play down in right field in foul territory to end the threat. Fantastic, and a lot of ground covered there by Cody Bishop. And that'll take us to the bottom of the six. Still one nothing. Matt Holloway to lead it off for the Tigers. Half grounded back to the pitcher. That was the one where Norton was able to knock it down with his pitching hand. First pitch in there for strike one. Recovered, threw him out, and then shaking his hand pretty hard. Not able to recover and still pumping out there. One foul down the third base line. Uh, one looked a little too hot for Coach Williams to try. Thought to about catch. it, didn't he? <laughs> Struck him out. Ford's going to have to throw him out. Rim does. to ring up Jordan. Jordan over two. Lift it to the right, left side, but foul. My fee is right in on top of Jordan. Or baseman make fee, that is. Driven in the center. Pledger going back still. He eventually hauls it in for the second out. That'll bring up the catcher, Brent Totus. Brent 0 for 2. 
Grounded out, struck out. Tigers only have one hit, so that was by Brenton Phillips back in the fourth. Curveball in the dirt. Another curveball is low. Foul straight back. Didn't mean to, but couldn't hold up. Slow. Hammered in the left. Well, two out single from Totus. It's the second hit for the Tigers today. Totus obviously the tie and run, and that'll bring up Brenton Phillips. Brenton's walked and doubled, so. And yanked that ball down the line and rattled around in the corner. Totus can run, so he can manage to do that again. Tie this thing up. First pitch back up the middle, but Foster will flip to Kemp. Force out Totus. So we go to the top of the seven. Still one nothing here on the ACDN. Let's give a few sponsorships out here. Uh, Hamley, game's moving right along. And of course, as usual, Village Pizza. Village Pizza is located in the Piggly Wiggly Shopping Center. Open Monday through Saturday. The menu is available on Facebook along with hours of operation. Give Melissa a holler if you're in town looking for a pizza, wing, salad, or a hot sandwich. And Regions Bank and Region Bank of Cufford, Full Line Banking, and the Bank of Andrew College. Watley Oil Company, three generations of Watleys in Randolph County and Cuthbert, Georgia, and a proud sponsor of Andrew College Athletics. And Subway and Subway of Cuthbert, full line of sandwiches, salads, and a pizza. <laughs> Also located in the uh, Piggly Wiggly Shopping Center. Give him a holler. New pitcher is Daniel Lee. Talk to me, Hamby. You're going to have to give me a second on this one. <laughs> I got to find him. All right, 14 appearances on the year, 11 starts, 3-4 and four record. What'd you do? I could hear myself talk. I don't know. There's some way that we can figure this out to where we, me and you can hear each other over the headset. I just haven't been able to figure that out yet. Oh, I could just hear myself yeah, no. whenever you did whatever you did. I know. I will put it into uh, input in there. Can you hear yourself? Like I said, there's a way that this works, and I haven't quite figured it out yet. And we're, I know we're live on the air, but uh, Amy and I can basically hear each other since we're sitting literally, you know, two feet apart. But I know there's a way that these two, <laughs> these things hook up. I just haven't figured it out yet, but we'll keep working on it. Thank you, Mason. Willis Kemp will lead it off. Kemp one for three. Struck out, flew out to right, and then doubled again. Daniel Lee in for Mullins. Mullins in six innings of work. One run, five hits. Tigers made no errors, so. One little pitch on the outside corner for strike one. stays out. 
outside. Two one grounded at Mullins, two hopper on the run. Goes to Barry for the first out of the inning, and then I'll bring up the first baseman, Bryson Horn. Walked, singled, and singled. So he's two for two on an RBI. Drove in the only run of the game. Taking the fifth. First pitch in there for strike one. Swing fouled it off there. That'll make the softball field, I believe. Him will be over there tomorrow, at one o'clock. Double header with Georgia Military. One two pitch fouled off at the plate. Be back out here Tuesday night, I believe we play Gordon. Probably a six o'clock start. Five or six. Week for tomorrow will be the season finale for the softball team. The one two. Hammer to center. Jordan got a whole beat on it. Call it in for the second out of the inning. Now this is Lewis. What's his first name? Uh, Tanner? Spencer. Spencer Lewis. Lewis first at bat he came in back in the sixth. That ball's fouled straight back. Curveball catches the inside corner. Drug him out. Three up down, three down inning for da uh, Daniel. And we go to the bottom of the seventh here on the ACDN. Still one nothing. something good together. Clint Sowers lead it off for the Tigers. Clint 0 for 2 is grounded out to second, reached on a fielder's choice. First pitch fouled straight back. I believe that's Norton still out there. Curveball stays high. One 
one stays low. Got a fair amount of folks sitting down in the bullpen down there for Highlands, kind of moving around, but nobody's throwing or doing anything. Fastball stays high. One right in after strike one, uh, two. Foul the straight back. him out. Seven strike out for Norton. That'll bring a Will Berry. A little over two. Struck out, grounded out to third. Hammered in the left for base hit. Oh, one out single for Will. Got to bring up the DH, Dalton Cash. Cash just flew out to center and flew out to left. Third hit of the day for the Tigers. Cash can certainly reach the cheap seats. Wind is kind of blowing a little bit out to left, so... Pitch to Cash, swung on and missed. Oh, one off the fist, that's in shallow center. Here comes Pledger going out as Foster, and Foster over his shoulder. A few people there. He kind of did a 360 out there and he, threw the he first. Just did a, he <laughs> caught the ball over his shoulder and yeah. did a 360 and just blindly threw it and threw a strike to the first base. Yeah. I don't think anybody, including Will, was expecting that. No. Cody Bishop at the plate. Cody popped out to short, grounded out to short. First pitch a little high. Cody can reach cheap seats too. Foul that one off though. Blake going through a pretty good set of signs there. He's got something going. One oh in the dirt, blocked up by Orr. Runner goes. Pulled foul. <laughs> Coach Moss over there saying it might come back. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Barry at first. Cody at the plate. Norton on the mound. Third ball. Hit the third. Fair ball. Mac Fee is going to be in the dirt. Kicks away from Horn. Will on his way to third. I had no idea where that ball went. <laughs> <laughs> A high chopper that uh, was right on the line. and Umpire called it fair, I guess. Guess the third baseman caught it in fair territory. Well, he must have because he was standing in foul territory. and I, I don't know how Cody hit that thing. It couldn't have been more than... 
Well, they gave Cody an error. Okay, well, I gave him a single. But uh, I couldn't have been more than two inches off the ground. Mm -mm. Gonna pummel it in the ground. I guess I took. When I looked up, the third baseman was catching, and I had no idea where the ball was. And see, the catcher's feet, or not the catcher, but the third baseman's feet was in foul, or were in foul territory. That's what I but thought. he caught it. His glove touched the ball in fair territory, so the umpire called it fair. Yeah, I and, mean, uh, uh, it's a tough throw. He didn't wasn't able to set his feet. Nope. Tough throw, first base, but not able to block it up. Yeah, it was one of those awkward hops. It's one of those in-betweeners that you don't know if you need to stretch or if you need to sit back. Exactly. Short hops are not a problem. The long hops aren't too bad, but them in-betweeners are big-time trouble. Colin Chambers now, runners at the corners. Hammered, but foul. Ricochet off of something. Dead square off of the uh, light pole. Okay. <laughs> I knew whatever it hit, it hit a thud, and it pounced back a good way. So, Colin 0 for 2. Struck out and popped out the short. Cody's running. Not. Right. Oh. Called it a ball? He called it a ball. That's I thought was. he was about to motion to call it a strike. I did too. He's turned like he's going to call it a strike, and that's why I was a little surprised. The 1-1. One, one. Off the end of the bat, McField take a step back. Strong throw to first. So Norton strands a pair. Go to the top of the eighth here. Still one nothing. Highlands. Top of the eighth. Pick up PA, try to lead off. Curveball stays inside. Two balls and a strike. Pick up PA, has reached on a fielder's choice, popped out to first and doubled. A 2 1. Hammered to right, and that's down. Second hit of the day for Pica Pietra. Not to bring up the catcher, Parker Orr. I'm not sure if Dash is a big bunt kind of guy, but if there's a bunt situation, it would be this. Orr's walked, flew out to right, and grounded out to short. Nice bunt, takes the curveball high. Daniel Lee on for his second inning of work. The 1-0. -oh. 
smoke to center, but right at the Jordan. Pick up Pietro after retreat. With one out, that'll bring up third baseman Skyler McPhee. He is grounded short twice and struck out. Pitch McPhee is up and in. Defense will go real quick like left to right. Phillips Holt Bishop, third to first. Sellers Chambers Holloway Barry totes behind the plate. And again, Daniel Lee on the mound. 1 0. Right in there for strike one. One run, six hits, one error for Georgia Highlands. No uh, runs, three hits, no errors for the Tigers. It's been about as well played a game as you'd seen in a while. Pitch has been outstanding. The 1 1. Curveball swung on and missed from both sides. Look him out. He can't run. Second strike out for Daniel Lee. With two outs, on the bring up the DH, Brandon Allen. Allen is grounded out, struck out, and walked. Let's see their stats real quick. Curveball in there for strike one. One off the fist, fouled straight back. <laughs> Play set. The O2. Struck him out. First strikeout, two innings for Lee. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Still one nothing Highlands. Bottom half of the eighth. Tigers will send up Holloway Holt Totus. At over two. Rounded out back to the pitcher and struck out. We can get something going here up in Norton. First pitch in there for strike one. Yeah, I want to give a shout out. I don't know if y'all missed it or we don't know him. Big high chopper to McPhee. That's going to get over his head. A well, leadoff single for Holloway, and here we go. Again, I want to say hello to Mary and Carol Duplantis, Rock's grandparents, watching somewhere in the hinterlands. I don't know if you caught the first one when I sounded out. We had all kinds of 
issues going on with um, buffering. Jordan Holt at the plate. Wouldn't be shocked to see him bunting. Out down the first base line. McPhee right on top of him. Runner goes. Ground ball into the knocked down by the second baseman. No, it doesn't. It goes all the way through. Back to back singles. So Tigers got something going here. See Dash over there telling the uh, bullpen to hurry up. Dash over there. We've seen this a uh, good number of times throughout the year. Whether the margin has been big or large, the Tigers usually in the late innings, their bats like to come alive. So this is a big inning and a big part of the lineup for the Tigers. Absolutely. 3-4. Due up with uh, nobody out, two on. I'd be surprised if Brent's bought and bunting here. I'd be totally, completely shocked. But, and again... Oh, he bunts. Takes outside. Took a look at Bre uh, Blake, but no signals given, so let's see. Horn and McPhee both. Yeah, and he's already first. turned, already squared, and the throw, pitch is in the dirt, so. The old hat up in the. Uh, had up in the air routine, letting everybody know somebody's ready, I think. Squares. Just got a piece of I thought he missed it. I thought he missed it. I didn't think, I, I didn't think, think uh, Brent got a piece of I didn't either. It didn't sound like it. It sounded like it went straight off leather, but home plate umpire quickly said foul ball, and Brent didn't argue, so he obviously... Knew a lot of signs that time. See if Blake takes it off. They got the pick off at second. They don't get him. It's kind of a crowd of people between here and there. I can't really see. I'd have to delayed call on that. Not runner goes to third. Throw two. Not made. <laughs> And look at here. Or unable to get a good clean transfer. That throw is a little low. It actually ended up being very close to the dirt, if not in the dirt. You're talking about the pitch, right? Yeah, throw pitch. Yeah, 3 1 pitch. Out off at the plate. You know what I mean. Well, I wasn't sure because I thought he didn't throw it to third, so maybe I'm missing something here. <laughs> but the pitch was low. Three balls, two strikes, infield in. Bottom of the eighth. Uh, caught him looking. Kind of a questionable call. But we haven't got that call all day. Oh, Brandon Phillips will come up now. Phillips one for two. Doubled. Grounded out. See if they're going to put him on, and they may well. So they are going to put him on, so they intentionally walk him. Set up a double play. They're supposed to throw it or not. I think that's what Blake's uh, making throw four pitches. Yeah, I think that's what Coach Williams is asking them about. I and know I'm the rule. They have to throw them four pitches. Okay, well. Uh, so apparently we'll, that is the rule. Well, Brandon will get the bat back, but we're not sure we'll see him swing it. Well, like I said, they're, they, they didn't have any intention of walking him, so. You just got to make them execute it, and heck, you never know. <laughs> have they changed that rule in the major leagues? I, be, I No, I'm sure they haven't. I'm sure in the big leagues they haven't. I think that's the, they were talking about changing it. Well, like I said, I uh, I doubt seriously ever changed that. 
I could see it in Little League in high school, maybe, but got to be careful as a catcher. You can't get out of the box too quick. <laughs> Brenton. <laughs> Acting like he's going to swing at it. Of course, probably the most famous intentional walk they didn't walk was against Johnny Bench way in many, many years ago when they ended up... Uh, 3-2 pitch. They said they were going to walk him, and so the catcher stood up, put out his hand, and they jumped back in behind. Got back down. <laughs> and caught it. I remember that. I uh, don't remember it, but I remember seeing that. All right, Clint Sellers now. <laughs> Sellers was grounded out, reached on a fielder's choice and struck out. Middle infield will stay back. They'll look to turn two. I'm sure, the corners will come home. First baseman Horn is way off the line. Pitch is low. You know, I don't remember the team, but I. Uh, Barry was in the Bonds World Series. Was, oh. Barry Bonds was walked with the bases. Oh, loaded. yeah. Oh, yeah. They hit up several times. That ball is hit deep to left. That ball is gone. That ball is going, gone. and it is gone. Well, that's what happens sometimes. Hey, put an absolute charge in that. Wow. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. and That's a great job of Clint there to step up and after he sees his teammate walk, make him pay for it. I'll tell you what, that was a no-doubter. Left fielder knew it almost. He kept going back, but it didn't take long. He knew. So one out, Will Barry at the plate. Ball's hit deep to center. Yard will hold that. Pledger. Pull it in for the second out of the inning. We still haven't changed our scoreboard yet. It still says one nothing Highlands. Ed, Clint's just now touching home on the scoreboard. Or the Fox cast. Holy cow. <laughs> Lead off single from Matt Holloway. Jordan Holt fouled that up with a single. Intentionally walked. Intentionally Brenton walked uh, Brenton Phillips, and then Sellers goes yard. Dalton Cash. And he strokes that into left. Where's that rumble coming from? I think on top of us. Here comes Dalton. I mean, uh, Dash. Sure, that'll be it for Norton. Cody Bishop at the plate. And we'll take a break.
Hi, new pitcher is Jacob Penley. Cody Bishop at the plate. I think we're getting our mic cords mixed up here, uh, Hamby. Dalton with a very little lead. First pitch in there for strike one. Cody disagrees with that. Cody 0 for 3. Hammered with foul. Is the count one and two or zero oh and two? I've got one and two. Ah, that's what I thought. Board says one, uh, oh and two. Oh, now it says one and two. Hop straight back. One ball, two strikes again if you just joined us, which uh, we got 15, so maybe we have. Clint Sellers just hitting a grand slam, put the Tigers up 4 1. Curveball struck him out. Tigers take the lead, and we go to the top half of the ninth, needing three outs here to pick up the second win in this series. We'll be right back. Austin Foster to lead it off. Shortstop. Foster 0 for 2. Daniel Lee back out. This is his third inning of work. Three strikeouts in two innings of work. The 1 0 to Foster. Big high chopper to Clint. Takes a step back. Long throw. Pulls Will off the bag, and that'll end up against the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I almost have to score that in air. Yeah, I'd have to. I'd bring up the center fielder, Jerry Pledger. Oh, they gave a Pledger they gave him a for hit. two. I guess they did. Like I said, that was gonna be a tough play, but they scored it a single, so again Brady Jones ready to come in at any a moment's notice. First pitch to pleasure, about the same thing. Hammered it in the in the dirt. Oh, they changed to an air. Curve ball swung on and missed. Oh, they did change it over to an error on Clint. Mm. When, uh, I think it's 1 2. I know it's 0 2. Okay. Yeah, 0 2. Curveball able to lay off. Kemp on deck. Yeah. The 1 2. 
two. I'm going to check him, and they don't get him to go. That's going to be a tough angle for that umpire out there. looking <laughs> four strike out for Daniel back to the top of the line lineup Willis Kemp umpire didn't say strike three he said yeah <laughs> Kemp one for four doubled struck out flew out to right grounded out to short oh here we go oh Thought we had it. They did. Oh, they didn't get him at second. I thought they had a chance. Oh, kicked out of uh, Collins' glove. Thought he was going to get a chance. He scrambled to try and catch it, and get the force at second, but not in time. And that'll bring up Bryce and Horn. And here we go. Back on his way. Horn has walked, singled, singled twice, drove in a run, flew out to center. So Horn represents a tie and run. Outfit probably as much as anything is no doubles. First pitch on the inside corner for strike one. the knees the O2 and that ball's hammered up the gap that's in it's to the wall run run is going to score throw will come in and horn RBI double. Second RBI. He's drove in both uh, Highland runs. Looks like we got a pinch hitter here. Number 27. That's Zachary Miller. Zachary Miller will pinch hit for Lewis. See if Blake goes to. I don't see him quite moving out of the dugout uh, yet. Doesn't appear to be in any hurry, although he may. I will obviously stay back. It'll change your run for an out. First pitch right in there for strike one. In that situation here, that is a Ball just missed. Miller able to hold off of it, lay off of it. One, one just misses.
Kemp at third, Horn at second. One out. Zachary Miller at the plate. Two balls, one strike, one out. Curveball. Yes, he did. So they appealed and the home plate umpire made the call. Two balls and two strikes now. Kicks in front. Unbelievable job by Brent Totus there. That was one wicked curveball, and I got, I got a, mostly got a piece of his thigh. Like a thud. Kicked out front, though. Kept the run, run right third. Three balls and two strikes. And Miller draws a walk. I'll be surprised, and here comes Blake, so that'll bring on Brady Jones. He'll step away for a minute. Brady Jones on. What kind of stats we got on Brady there, Hambone? Let's see. Team leading 278 ERA, one win and three losses on the year in 17 appearances, five saves, 35.2 innings pitch, and 32 strikeouts. Pick up the after at the plate. It's two for four. First pitch right in there for strike one. Bases are loaded. There is one out. Beautiful 
pitch right on the outside corner there. Defensive swing there from Pica Pietra. Stay alive, fouled it off to the left side. Everything's been away. Let's see if they challenge him inside. Set up away again. Another one just stroke to the left side. Come in. You got to come in, though. Of course, you always take the chance in of hitting somebody. going to come in, don't miss over the middle. Set up away again. High. One ball, two strikes, one out. The one, two. Off a of fist, that curveball. That was something. <laughs> I know. They all of a sudden pick a Petra and thought he'd maybe got a better swing because that thing started breaking. Kind of a half swing when it was about in the catcher's glove and able to foul it off. One, two, fouled off again. Kemp at third, Horn at second, Miller at the first. Brady Jones trying to pick up a sixth save of the year. Curveball came inside, he was able to fight it off. Good battle going here. The one two. I'm gonna hold up. One out. Base is loaded. Two balls, two strikes. Driven back up the middle. Great catch. Oh, he didn't catch it. Throw's going to go to third. They're going to have a chance for a force, and they do. They do pick up a run. But they're now two outs. No runners on first and second. That's a great heads-up play by I Jordan. I mean, Jordan, right Jordan with a heads-up play. I mean, the attempt to make the dive, diving catch was great, and he was able to stop it, but the heads-up to go to third base instead of second? And keep the runner at second instead of third. That'll bring up Heads Parker up Orr now with two outs. Runners at first and second. Pick up Pietro, pick up a hit in an RBI, but well, no, that wouldn't be a hit, would it? Curveball stays high. I think it would be a hit because he did die for the ball. No, not that. As they got an out on the play. I don't know how you'd score that. Fielder's choice. Have to yeah, it had to be a fielder's be, choice. Had to be a fielder's choice. So, uh, an eight. One zero stays low. So it has an eight five eight, fielder's five choice. fielder's choice. Does get the run in, but now there's two outs. And again, or Pammy was telling me there sometime ago, like, Coors got ten home runs. So, pick up the or hit that ball in the button. Like I said, I thought time calls. Jordan was going to be able to haul it in. He got a glove on it. Sliding in and no, oh, but like I said, the heads up play was to pick it up and fire a strike to third and force the runner at third. 2 0. Curveball stays outside. Max B 
see on deck. Three all right in there for strike one. Back at it tomorrow for softball. Double at one o'clock. The three one curveball hit to Colin. Flip to Callaway. Callaway. And the Tigers do it. Four three on a grand slam home run from Clint Sellers. Brady does pick up his sixth save of the year. And again, we'll be back at it tomorrow again from Man and Drew College. Tyler Ham Tanner Hamby and Mark Brown. We'll see you guys tomorrow.